Number five here, this uh, this fifth principle, uh, you got to create a document. You got to document your system. Okay, you got to write it down. Actually, apparently Moses did that too. Oh yeah, he did. He went. He, he went back up. He went to the mountain. Is Mount Sinai? Yeah. I and uh, apparently the 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 the, the father of the planet, mm -hmm. um, he gave him some rules, and he wasn't like. Oh yeah, let me let me find something to, to write it with. Well, I'll we're, remember we're it. all out. I'll, I'll remember. I just remember. Come it. on down to the mountain, you know, and, and other people are down there yeah. and they're saying, Hey, hey, Moses, Moses, what did what did he teach you up there? And then he's <laughs> like, you know, I I don't recall. There was eight or ten things. There was eight or ten things. Some of the things were not. No, he <laughs> uh, apparently inscribed it into tablets. So at least go. that's what we believe he yeah. did. And they called them the Ten Commandments. And we still have them today. Isn't that crazy that we remember stuff from thousands of years ago? That we still remember stuff? Why? Because it was written down. So it's important that you define success, right? Yep. And then you document it. Absolutely. So with Thrive, yep. before we uh, were able to mass produce episodes, yep. we had to make this workflow. Right? Yeah, and the workflow was tough to make. And you had to sit down and, and ask yourself what a perfect episode would look like yep. and then go step by step on how to achieve that, then document it. And we had to fail faster. Every time we ran into problems, we had to fail faster. My wife, my wife is a sweet angel of truth and justice and duplicatable uh, coaching. She says to me, she says, um, are we failing fast enough? And I'm like, I am not sleeping. That's awesome. I am, I am, I am not sleeping. I am, and she's like, I don't know that. Baby, I don't know if I asked that. I was just saying, are we feeling fast enough? That's awesome. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> so, you know, got up like about six minutes of sleep and came back to the office. There you go. I mean, yeah. you've got to document the system or else to. it will not be replicatable. It has to be replicatable. It's not a business. It's just a hobby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or a it, job nobody wants. It'll be totally worthless if you don't. So, Boom. number six, yep. your system must be repeatable and trainable. Now, this is a little different because repeatable means that you can do the same thing over and over and over without much variation. Like mm. same quality, high quality, high quality, high quality. Imagine assembly line of cookies. Same cookie, same cookie, same cookie. The cookie cutter is the same every time. Well, and I immediately thought of even uh, the boxes that we send out for speaking events, right? Mm. You have a system set up to where each item, I don't know, there's maybe 10 different items that we put inside of a box when you book a speaking event. He's giving away all of our secrets. Uh, no, to, no to everyone watching this. That's how much we think of you. Everyone watching this, don't, no, just send him a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got it so that each time we, we book this, you get the box, you put this item in, then you put this item in, and there's a checklist and we follow it every single time. Absolutely. It's trainable, it's repeatable. You know, Bam. again, Seth Godin said, uh, the habit of doing more than is necessary can only be earned through practice. You have to do it over and over, because it doesn't even feel normal as a human mm -hmm. to try to wow another human. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. I had a client uh, today, be a beautiful man. This guy is a great client. Love this guy. Just a great American. I really uh, uh, can't uh, uh, tell you how much of a, uh, a pleasure it is to work with this guy. He's just a great father, great client, great mm -hmm. person. He came in today. We gave him a gift basket with my newest book and a whole bunch of hoo-ha he didn't expect. I think we sent some pumice there, some yeah. beef jerky. And he was just going, wow. You know? Like, Nobody does that. Do you want something from me? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's just, I mean, we're here to bless your socks off. But then I'm telling you, he, he, he enjoyed it yeah. a lot. And so it becomes a it becomes a relationship. Right. And if you're not careful, then a customer becomes your friend. And a friend becomes your, like, somebody. We, we, are, are you more loyal to friends than you are to just acquaintances? I would hope so. Yeah. So you probably, I, I bet you, if you're watching this right now, I bet you have one business that you're very loyal to. You right. come back over and over and over. Why? Because there's free samples. It's, Sam's has samples on Saturdays. Don't tell me. I love it. But you come back because of the free samples. Right. You come back because Starbucks has samples. They have some mm. samples. You know, you go to these places because they over deliver. Sometimes Southwest Airlines gives you free drinks. The whole idea is that right. you can come back to places that consistently exceed your expectations. Absolutely. Don't tell anyone, though, because if everyone begins exceeding everyone's expectations, we'll have to work really hard. <laughs> Number seven here. Yeah. You must condense value add into a series of checklists to be appropriately delegated. Number seven here. Yeah. You must condense value add into a series of checklists to be appropriately delegated. Checklists are vital. 
If it's not a checklist, it's just a oral tradition that will get mangled over time. Mm. You need a checklist, a specific written down, duplicatable process. Do step one, do step two, do step three. If you don't do it, if you don't have a checklist, you are just going to absolutely lose over and over and over. And a practical action step for you. This checklist, I mean, it's actually got to have a place for you to initial each item, right? I mean, we've talked with Lee Cockrell. If you, if you haven't had a chance to look at his episodes, go watch his episodes. Every time I watch them, I get inspired. Whew. Pumps me up. It does. But he kept the bathrooms clean at Disney World, where he managed 40,000 people. They were cleaned, what, every 10 minutes or so? There was 40,000 employees. It's, it's not even possible. He managed them all. Chick-fil-A, Arthur Greeno, another mentor here. He has a checklist for everything that his franchise does. Chick-fil-A is controlled by aliens. It's not possible to keep a place that clean. It is with a checklist. Yeah. So if you apply these seven principles, you're going to be able to to wow your customers, wow your clients, and it'll come back to you tenfold. Yeah, and any of the secrets that I've been sharing kind of privately into the microphone, yeah, yeah. I appreciate if you wouldn't share them with anybody outside yeah. of Thrive, or just, you know, keep it to friends and family. That's fair. And people you have relationships sure. with. And people you'd maybe just met. So just share it with only a couple of all of your friends. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Well, thank you, Clay. I hey, appreciate your time. You're awesome, and you smell terrific. Oh, that's too kind.